Hi, Coach Debbie here from GuidedAbundance.com. Today I'd like to talk to you again about Law of Attraction. Now, I know you're probably saying, Debbie, I have heard this stuff before. I know about the Law of Attraction. I saw the secret. I've read the books. I've been a student. I believe in the Law of Attraction. I can see where it works in my life. I know this stuff. Well, what I'd like to do is give you an analogy. Just hopefully give you an aha moment, a different way of looking at it that might make a difference for you. I know it did for me. This isn't my analogy. It came from one of my mentors, Jim Self. And when I first heard this, a light bulb went on for me and I really began to see how the law of attraction was playing out in my life. You know, the law of attraction is about what you give your attention to comes to you. The universe loves you so much that it doesn't second guess you. Whatever it is you give your focus and energy and attention to comes back to you. You get more of it. Now I know that's not new, but let's think about it this way. Thoughts are electrical and emotions are magnetic. Now that's deep, isn't it? Now let's think about that a little bit more. Thoughts are electrical emotions are magnetic. Now what Jim said is, have you ever thought when you're driving down the road and you've seen these great big junkyards and within the junkyard is a huge crane and it's got a big piece of steel on the bottom of it and they can use it to pick up cars and move them around. It has such a big magnetic piece of steel on the bottom that it can pick up huge, huge vehicles and move them from one place to another. But before it's a magnet, that piece of steel simply is just this big chunk of steel with the potential to be magnetic. Now what they can do is wrap an electrical cord around that piece of steel and plug it in and put an electromagnetic charge on it. And if they wrap it around one time and do that, it would be a magnet, but it'd be a very weak magnet with only being wrapped around and charged the one time. But if they wrap it around 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times, it begins to be this huge, big, powerful magnet that can now move school buses or big trucks as they just get it near that piece of metal. Well, back to what we talked about earlier. Thoughts are electrical and emotions are magnetic. So you have a thought, especially about something that you don't want, and you have a feeling, an emotion that's tied to that thought. It wraps around the thought and gives it a magnetic charge. And then one thought can lead to another thought and more fear and more worry and more struggle, uh, more of what you don't want and more wrapping around and around and around with that electrical charge that attracts to you more of the things not wanted. Now, when you're thinking about what you do want, when you're visualizing, when you're, when you're sitting and really thinking about what you'd like your life to look at, like how much of a magnetic charge, how much feeling is associated, how much wrapping around the thought is happening in that process. Not as much, right? For some reason, we have more emotion and feeling and magnetic energy that's tied to what we're not wanting than what we do want. If you have a great day at work, um, that has a feeling associated with it, you feel good. But if you have a bad day at work, don't you relive it over and over and beat yourself up and think about it over and over again and try and think what you would have done differently and on and on and on, wrapping it around again and again and charging it more and more and more. What about lack What and your bills and fear about what would happen if you ran out of money and what you need to do to work harder and make more, wrapping it around and around and around and charging it more and more and more. And yet, we know there's nothing more than we want than just to be happy, that state of being, being happy. Yet, how much of your day is focused on that state of being, of being happy? How 
much of your attention goes to that state of being. It's not a state of thinking, state of worrying, a state of struggle. It's, it's just being happy in your now. And then charging it, feeling it, wrapping around and around it to create that electrical charge that can bring you more of that wonderful, happy state of being. But we're out of balance, aren't we? We might spend time focused on what we want, affirmations, all of those action steps that we use to create the life of our dreams. But how much emotion, how much electrical charge, and how much time and energy is put into that versus the time throughout your day that's spent with that negative electrical charge focused and pushing away what it is that you don't want to have in your life. Do you see the difference? That's what's playing out for all of us as we look around ourselves and say, why am I attracting all these things not wanted? Why am I getting this when I do spend time in meditation? I do spend time focused on what I want. I visualize. I see it in my mind's eye. Yeah, you do. But really, just for a small period of time and energy and focus compared to the huge amount of electrical charge and energy that's focused in the opposite direction. I hope that that gives you a little bit of an aha moment. I hope it opens your eyes to what's going on because once you're aware of what you're doing, you can change it. You can begin to erase and back away and let go of some of that negative emotional charge and take more and more time throughout your day to spend to just be in the now, to be in that state of happy bliss of just knowing that all is well right here, right now, that I am happy where I am on my way to something better and I'm creating that something better moment by moment, thought by thought, conscious thought in the direction of the life of my dreams. I hope that was helpful. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.